we really need to slow down about right now in life. We're making decisions on a daily basis that are really incorrect for our happiness, our joy, compassion for self, compassion for others. David Essel here. It's, it's a, a humanity is lost. I mean, we're, if we're following the crowd, we're as lost as the rest of humanity. And I want to just give a few ideas today. What I mean by that, you know, it's always been a struggle being an independent person in this world. We think of Gandhi, we think of Nelson Mandela, we think of uh, Martin Luther King. There's all kinds of examples of people that were highly independent and went against the crowd and went after things that were, they were passionate about. But 98% of the world's population is not like that at all. As a matter of fact, Earl Nightingale, an amazing motivational speaker uh, back a number of years ago, said about 93% of the world's population never reached their highest level of potential. About 7% of individuals reach their highest level of potential. And why is that? One of the biggest reasons is that people just follow the crowd. You know, their friends get a new purse and whether they can afford it or not, they get a new purse. Someone gets a boat, they need a boat. Someone gets a new car, they need a new car, right? It's like, you know, we get new clothes, someone else gets new clothes, we want new clothes. Um, uh, whatever it might be, you know, we just continue to follow the crowd. Uh, people saying, hey, let's go out drinking, and even though we don't want to, we do, eh, well, that's following the crowd. Uh, politically, you know, you're in, in a discussion and you're following the crowd, right? And you're pro-Republican, pro-Democrat, pro-liberal, whatever you are, but you're just following the crowd. Uh, most of us do that throughout our life, you know? Most of us are not independent at all. Earl Nightingale was right, about 7% of people reach their full potential. That means they reach their full potential as an independent person. If you're watching the news, I say this all with all sincerity, you're following the crowd. If there's something incredible about the news that you need to know that is life-changing for you personally, someone will let you know, a next door neighbor, someone at work, you'll find out. But most of us are so addicted to the news or addicted to controversial theories on YouTube and all these idiots that have these freaking millions of followers that are just talking trash constantly on YouTube and other videos and we follow them. You know, I, I have so many clients that'll say, oh my God, you're not gonna believe what this person said about the pandemic or about Biden or about Trump or about, oh my God, a bunch of talking heads, right? How about you? How independent are you really? Are you willing to get off of social media completely? You know, we made a move and you don't have to follow what I do. It's just something that we felt was right. You know, I was following the crowd for years, posting constantly on all kinds of Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, you name it. And finally, several months ago, I said, what the hell am I doing? I, I, I don't want to feel like I'm competing with people. I don't have to compete with people. No one has to compete with anyone else. What we have to do is figure out our own independence. So I shut down social media. You know, I do Facebook Lives. That's about all I do anymore. And uh, I'm happier than hell. But I'm not following the crowd, you know? I'm not, I, I haven't watched news since pre-COVID. I don't need to watch news. Whatever I need to hear, I'm hearing. Whatever I don't want to hear, I don't hear. Uh, there's nothing about it that's magical. It's just I'm not following the crowd. When we look at, you know, <laughs> someone said to me recently, oh my God, David, you could afford a brand new car, you could afford this, and yeah, I could. But I'm not following the crowd. You know, I'm content, I'm happy. I, I don't feel like I need to prove to anyone. I don't, I'm not posting pictures of brand new cars or private jets or any of that kind of stuff. And if that someone has to do that in order to have um, high self-confidence or uh, an identity that the good for them, that, that's just not me. But if you're following the crowd and you're trying to keep up and you're trying to post and you know, oh, so-and-so posted this, I've got to post that. You know, there was a funny commercial the other day uh, by a comedian that said, uh, hey, there's no need to post your Thanksgiving uh, pictures because we're all eating the same crap. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious, you know, but how many people follow the crowd? Now, I'm not saying don't post pictures of your family, but how many people like post things just to keep up or do TikTok just to keep up or post on Instagram just to keep up? Humanity is lost. Humanity is lost in the news, lost in conspiracy theories, lost in arguing. Humanity has lost self-care, has lost their spiritual path. We're coming out with a brand new book in a couple of weeks on spirituality because we know that the spiritual path is completely being destroyed. Uh, individuals that used to be able to do a lot of prayer and meditation and service work and all that have dropped out. So we're gonna be bringing them back with this brand new book. We're excited about it. I want you to be an independent person. I don't want you to follow the crowd anymore. I don't want you purchasing X because this person did that. I don't want you drinking Y because this person did that. I don't want, 
I want you to be you. I want you to be super happy. I want you to be incredibly independent. I don't want you to depend on other people's validation. Oh, Susie's not going out to dinner with us anymore. She's no, not going out to drink. She's such a, a lightweight. So what? Be a lightweight and be a happy lightweight. Listen, if I can help you at all, go to talkdavid.com. The most important point of this message I'm giving you is that be independent. Check to see when you're doing things just because other people are doing it. If you go to work and people are talking about the news and you don't have a, any idea of what they're talking about, walk away. Go for a walk. Do whatever you need to do, but be you. Go to talkdavid.com to work with me one-on-one -on -one from anywhere in the world. And of course, we have four free books at talkdavid.com. Take advantage of that. And between now and then, have an independently beautiful day. That's all I care about is you being a powerful, independent person. I'm David Essel. Have a wonderful day.